One of the most important skills to master when doing playback for a band or artist is the ability to work quickly. Let's say you're in rehearsal, the music director leans over and says, hey, let's cut that bridge in half. Let's duplicate that first course. You need to be able to make those changes instantly. And the key to being able to work quickly and edit your stems quickly in Ableton Live all comes down to knowing a few key shortcuts. In this video, I'm gonna share exactly what those shortcuts are and how you can quickly use them to edit your stem. So let's dive in. I've got a song pulled up here. Important to know, I have already warped this song so my stems are on the grid. I have added uh, a markers track so that this uh, the song sections will come with my song into my uh, next set. And I also have locators in my song. Uh, if you wanna learn how to do that, I'll put some links in the description of this. And if you want a template to format your songs, head to from studio to stage.com slash template to download that for free. So let's get to it. So let's take our first example here. Uh, let's say we're looking at the bridge. The music director says, hey, let's cut that bridge in half. So what I'm gonna do is go up here to the marker that I have set up for this for bridge. And um, I'm not gonna hit delete because if I hit delete there, it's just gonna delete that, that clip. But what I am gonna do is uh, click this and do command shift delete which you're gonna see that disappear. Essentially what happens is we keep our bridge here, we take first two and we splice those together. I just use what's called delete time. And in Ableton Live, if you go up to the edit menu, you're gonna see all of your time-based edit commands. So these are called the edit time commands. And this is the key to mastering editing stems in Ableton Live really, really quickly. Now at the core, essentially all you do to access these, you can look at the menu obviously to learn what they are, is just add shift to your normal command. So instead of command X to cut time, you do shift command X and you can cut time. So let's walk through a couple other scenarios. So we already talked about deleting time. Again, if I wanna delete this song section, I'll click on my marker here and I'll do command shift delete. If your file doesn't have markers, it should, but if it doesn't, then you can just select a amount of space like this. We're selecting all the clips in it and we're doing command shift delete to get that, okay? Uh, let's talk about duplicating time. Let's go to something that often happens when I'm working with artists. Hey, I want that intro to be two more times through. Okay, great. I'm gonna click intro here. What's duplicate command? Well, if you know duplicate, it's command D. To duplicate time, it's command shift D. So let's do that, command shift D. There's our second intro. Um, that's how we can duplicate time. Now let's go to a scenario I often get to, which is, hey, I want a little extra time uh, for our count in. Right now we've got a two measure count in at the beginning here. I wanna actually make it three measures. So how do I do that? I'm gonna go to the beginning of my song here. I'm gonna click anywhere you know, right at the beginning. I'm gonna do Command I to insert time. How much time do we need? We'll just do one measure. So we'll type one and hit okay. And now I can just drag this count off over and I can drag my click to go a little further if I want to and I'll drag my tempo. And while we're at it, let's just count, uh, drag our count off here and we'll leave our stems where they are. So that is insert time. Now, let's talk about um, how to actually take a song section and move it to another song section, okay? So uh, let's say we wanna take this verse out here and instead of this verse, we actually wanna put the verse here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is click on verse and I'm going to do command shift X. So I'm going to cut time. So I got rid of that. I smashed this together. Now let's paste it where that second chorus is. So now I'm going to click um, right here on chorus two and we're going to do command shift V. Okay. And you're going to see that that paste my verse right between verse one and chorus two. So that's how I can cut time. Now, typically when people learn the edit time commands, they, they get duplicate, uh, delete, insert time. They see cut time, but they go, okay, well, I get that scenario where you remove a section and you move it somewhere else. What if I wanna do this instead? What if I wanna leave my song section where it was? So I'm gonna put my verse back. So there's verse. What if I wanna leave this verse where it is, but I also want to add it, uh, let's say after verse one here, what do I do there? In this case, they go looking for, where's the copy time, right? So they go up to edit. Uh, where's copy time? Well, there is no copy time, but that's perfectly fine. Let me show you how to do this. So I wanna copy this verse. I'm gonna leave everything the way it is. So I'm gonna highlight all of this. I'm just gonna simply do Command C to copy. Now let's place, place it between verse one and chorus two. Uh, and then to make sure that this functions exactly the way I want it to, I'm gonna highlight the same amount of space instead of doing command uh, uh, instead of doing command V to paste it, because if I did that, that's just gonna replace that chorus with that verse. Maybe that's what we wanna do. I don't wanna do that in this case. I wanna do paste time. So I'm gonna do command shift V to paste time. And you'll see now I have this verse stays where it is, 
I have verse one, I have this verse, and then I have chorus. Now, after making those edits and those changes, that's super quick, you may want to add crossfades between your song sections. You may wanna go through and say, okay, I need to replace my guide cue. Uh, I need to add crossfades between the sections. I wanna show you how to do that next. But in order to see that, you've gotta hit subscribe to the channel and enable the bell icon so that you see next week when I post that video showing you how to crossfade between song sections uh, when you edit stems in Ableton Live. So again, make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit the bell icon so you see that when it goes live next week. And then also if you're looking, like I mentioned, for a template to format your sim so that you can work as quickly as I can in Ableton Live, then head to from studiotostage.com slash template so you can download that template for free. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week as we learn to add crossfades in our edits. Take care.